By the way, we are in the, the nightmare zone for Wonka reviews. I don't know if you saw. Wonka is sitting at a 67 on Metacritic. This is the worst possible uh, score for this movie to have. It needed to either be in the 90s for me to have any chance to get over my aversion to the original trailer. What did I step on, bro? Or it needed to be at a, like a, a 6 out of 100 so that I could actually enjoy it. 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh good, so it's up there with movies such as Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 was good? Yeah, it was not that good. It's no May December, let's put it that way. There's no scene in Iron Man 3 where Iron Man's son has to light a joint for him because he never got to experience like a normal uh, teenage existence as a result of being put in the express lane to adulthood by a child predator. I did indeed know this has been a curse for like my whole life. May December is a fictional movie based on a real experience where a teacher, a, a female teacher in the United States by the name of Mary Kay Letourneau had a child with her 13 year old student. Now, almost nobody on earth has my last name. That being said, for my entire life, as a result of this, because this happened, and there's no relation, by the way, but um, because this happened in like 1992, myself and my parents would always be asked whenever we told people our last name. We'd be like, any relation to like the child predator? And we'd be like, no, it's just like the worst coincidence of all time. That lasted like 12 years because news used to sort of hang in the air like a, like a wet fart. And then that was almost even worse because then sometimes would be like, someone would meet me. Like this actually happened on the Disney cruise. Someone was like, I heard your last name is Letourneau. Any relation to like random person who lives in Duluth? And I was like, no, but I do appreciate the... Um, being asked that instead of being asked if I have relation to Mary Kay Letourneau. And then the dude said, who's that? So now I'm the insane person that out of nowhere is like explaining this story to this nice guy who just asked me like if I know someone from his town of eight people, right? So like it was, it's been a curse in both directions. Couldn't have just named me LaCroix or something, right? <laughs> of the Sparkling Water Guild. LaCroix is literally my last name. It's so funny to be named the same as a water. Can you imagine meeting someone named like, you know, Guinevere Evian or something like that? You would be like, you're rich. They'd be like, no, I'm not. You'd be like, Bill Dasani, Fitzgerald Liquid Death. Like, they're all funny.